Hi, I'm Roger Agajikai. Smartphones are a great way to listen to music from internet music service providers like Spotify or Amazon Music. I use Bluetooth to listen to that music from my phone on earbuds or a car stereo. Well, I've always been disappointed when I've tried to use Bluetooth for home audio. Using speakers, I want to fill a room with sound. And I find that the Bluetooth connection sucks all the life and joy out of the music. And that's because of the compression that happens in that wireless link. Compression means Bluetooth is throwing some of that music signal away. You can never get it back. The solution is to use Wi-Fi instead. Wi-Fi has a much bigger capacity for the music signal, which means they don't have to do any compression and the music arrives at your stereo exactly the same way it was sent. To use your Wi-Fi for music, you're going to need a thing called a network music streamer. And that's just a new kind of receiver that plugs into your stereo. You can think of it as an internet music receiver. A network music streamer will let you select music from an internet music service provider like Spotify or Amazon Music or Pandora or Tidal or music from a home computer and play it on any stereo. The cheapskate music streamer that I'm about to show you sounds really good, but it costs a lot less than any other on the market today. The cheapskate streamer will take about six minutes to put together. If you just want to see how to set it up and use it, you can skip forward. We're going to start with a DIY board. Wait, don't go. We're not going to do any DIY that requires any skill or expertise. The little box that the board comes in is great for the housing for the streamer. And the wires just plug in. This is everything we need. Just a pair of scissors, a utility knife. We need to make a single hole in this case for the wires. And if you have an electric drill with a quarter inch bit, you can use it. But a paper punch like this works just as well. And you can buy this at a hardware store or office supply store for about five bucks if you don't have one. This is our streamer. It's the up to stream mini from Arillic. And Arillic are a very good company with very high quality products. You need a USB power cable. So one end plugs into the USB power block, the other end plugs into our board, and an audio cable with a three and a half millimeter connection at one end and RCA cables at the other. The last thing we need is just some draft exclusion strip, a little bit of foam. All this does is just take up a little space in the case and stops everything rattling around. Now, before we start, this case has a little tab on it that's used for hanging the case in retail. We just want to rip that off. There, come right off. Okay, first we open up the box. We discard these two cables. If you're like me, you'll save them for another project, but you can throw them out. We don't need them. Then we take the up to stream mini out. We're not going to use the instructions today. So you take it out of the plastic bag and plug the audio cable in and just see where that lines up on the box. Comes to about here. So we can take our paper punch and push it down just below this ridge, like that. And just pull this out. And then the next step is to take the utility knife and make a single cut through the plastic to the hole. Now, we take about two inches of foam. And we stick it in the middle to the bottom, parallel to the hinge here. Get this little bit of debris out.
Then we put the anti-static bag that this thing came in. Let's just use this and stick it in the case to dissipate any static charges. And we take our audio cable and we push it down through the slot that we made. And we take our USB cable and we push it down through the slot that we made. Like so. And then we take our board and we plug in the audio to the three and a half millimeter jack. We plug in the power to the USB jack, USB socket. So it snaps. There we go, snapped in. And then we put this board in. Now what I'd like to do is take one of these little ties, just provide a little bit of strain relief here on these two cables. So we pull it, pull it tight, and then start wrapping it. There we go, that'll be good. The board there. This is the Wi Fi antenna. So we need to stick this to the top of the case. Need to peeling off the backing here. Put it in this position here, and that'll wrap around nicely when we close the lid. And then we need another pad of foam to go onto the lid, like this. And now we have a complete finished working music streamer, the Up to Stream Mini. You can pay hundreds of dollars for a network music streamer. Our Arillic Up to Stream Mini board can be bought from the Arillic website for 49 bucks and does the same thing. Okay, so it's a little bit of an ugly duckling, but it can be hidden behind your stereo, or you can paint it or personalize it any way that you want. Just be sure to leave the infrared sensor open because for an extra 10 bucks, Arillic will sell you a remote control that's really great for controlling the volume in stereos which never had a remote control in the first place. To show you how to connect the streamer up, let's turn this beauty round so you can see what I'm doing on the back. The best input to use on an old stereo like this one is the one labeled AUX. And you could use tape play, sometimes labeled tape in. Never, ever, 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 that's a lot of evers, use the phono input. The sound would be very loud and distorted if you did that. If your stereo has an aux input that looks like a headphone socket, then you're gonna need a three and a half millimeter plug like this one. If your stereo is like that, you can use an adapter plug like this. Many old stereos have an AC outlet on the back. It was originally for turntables, but it's very convenient for plugging our USB power into. Here's our finished cheapskate streamer sitting on top of the receiver. Now that it's connected, it's time to set it up. And the way we do that is with our smartphone. First, we have to go to the App Store and install an app called Forstream. So we type it in the search field. There it is, so we hit Get. Once the iPhone's verified our identity and installed the app, then we can press Open. To give the app the permissions it needs, we click OK, then Allow, and then OK. Then you click the green next button, and when asked, you click OK to let the app use the phone's Bluetooth for setup purposes. 
It's going to look and not find your device because it's not set up yet. So it'll ask you if you want to add a device and you click on that. Here it's asking if the light on the device is blinking and in our case it is. So we click the green button. There's our streamer. So we can click set up this device. Next, the app's going to suggest that you connect the streamer to the Wi-Fi network that the phone's connected to. You normally want to do this. So you enter the password for that network and click next. Once you see the streamers connected to the network, you just click next. Then it's going to ask you to rename the device. And I just called it Rogers streamer. You then just click next in the top right and you'll see your device there all set up and ready. To select music, we touch the browse button in the bottom left. There you'll see the music selections. The My Music button lets you play music from your phone or any computer that's in your home. And so, now let's play some music. Most people who use a network streamer also use an online music service like Spotify or Amazon Music or Tidal. And that way you get the whole world of music at your fingertips. I'm going to show you how to do this using Spotify. I'll have to mute the sound, but you'll get the idea. We're back to the Forstream app and we've pushed the browse button and we just scroll down until we see the icon for Spotify. After touching the Spotify icon, it'll ask us if we want to open Spotify and we touch the green button and it takes us right into the Spotify app. There's a little speaker icon to the left of the play button. And if you touch that, you'll see all the devices that Spotify can play to. There's our streamer. Once we've selected our streamer, it tells us that anyone on our Wi-Fi network can play music on the speaker. And that can be a really fun time with friends to sit around and share each other's music. Now everything we play in the Spotify app plays through our streamer onto our speakers. We can disconnect by touching the little device icon again, or just simply exiting the Spotify app. From now on, now that we're set up, we can skip the four stream app and select the streamer directly from the Spotify app. Now that you know how to use streaming music in your home, you'll enjoy a virtually unlimited catalog of music that you can get from the internet without spending a fortune. I put links to the products I've talked about in the description of this video. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That's all I had for today. Thanks for watching.